Hello everyone, so today we have a very exciting coach unboxing. Excited to see what I got? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure you hit subscribe down below, turn on the bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Should know that by now. And follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer and say hi to me down in the comments. We always have a fun time just chatting down there and I love hearing from you guys and hearing what bags you're buying. All right, so today you're probably like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I am wearing my cape from the We Are Spastor X Tom of Finland collab. Pretty amazing, right? So today we have a super exciting coach reveal. Now, I'm not gonna call it an unboxing because as you could tell, once again, I buy something new from Coach and it doesn't come in a box. So uh, before we get in, let me vent a little bit. Let me spill some tea for you guys. When I worked at Coach in college, we would have to take the plastic off, all the foam on the wrapped bits, the hardware, put it in its dust bag, well, stuff it with paper, put it in its dust bag, wrap it in paper, put it in the gift box, put the ribbon on. And the last two times I bought something from Coach, they literally just picked it from the back. And then in this instance, shipped it. And then the time before that, literally walked out of the back room, said, this is for you? Oh and dropped it on a side table. Not in a box, not done up, just in the plastic bag it was shipped in from the factory. So, a little bit of a gripe. I don't know if they're not doing boxes anymore, if it's a supply issue, if it's a green initiative, because we know they just got caught cutting their bags and throwing them away, who knows? But I would prefer a box next time, Coach, if any of you are watching. Anyway, so enough of that. Now, today is super exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys the bag. We're gonna go into a little bit of history, and then we're gonna take a close look at the bag. All right, so. Here it is. This is the hardest I've ever worked for a bag, let alone a coach bag. I thought my melodrama with running through Munich to buy the last Louis Vuitton Palace bag was, was a story. And then I thought I outdid myself again with tracking down a bag from the Balenciaga Gucci Hacker Project. No, 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 no. This is the hardest I have ever had to work to buy a freaking bag. <laughs> it was quite a sight to behold. So I had a fellow content creator who works for Coach trying to help me source one. After about a week and a half, we weren't really getting anywhere. So I called my Coach flagship here in Chicago, downtown. I said, hey, I gave him the style number of the bag. I'm like, do you have this in stock? Hey, do you have this in stock? And then as soon as he pulled it up in the system, he said, oh my gosh, literally everyone has been calling us about this bag today. No, we did not get any. He said, but, just to help you out, I think that if any stores got them, it would be the Soho, Columbus Circle, or the Fifth Avenue Boutiques in New York. I said, okay, that checks out, that makes sense. It's part of the Cash and Carry Spring 2022 Runway Collection Letter to New York theme or vibe they were going for with this collection. So you had the bag I got, you had the Zabars, Pearl Paint, Central Park, and a couple others, and uh, anyway. So I called um, Columbus Circle first, and I talked to a very lovely young lady. I, I've worked in the industry before, so I know when there's a bag in stock and they have to get through a wait list. She was like, hey, you know, if, if there happens to be one and we get it in this afternoon, I'll give you a call. But if you don't hear me before the end of tomorrow, we didn't get one. I'm like, okay, well here, go ahead and take my name and you know, maybe something will come of it. And then I called Soho and they were having issues with their phone. It kept dropping, terrible connection. And then I called Fifth Avenue. I give them the style number again. They pull it up and they're like, oh yeah, we have one. And we're giving the person until Monday, which was two days. I was calling on Friday. Till Monday, March 7th, to decide if they want the bag or not. I'm like, I am sitting right here, credit card in hand, ready to pay you. Send me the pay link. I just want the freaking bag. It is not rocket science. You have a bag, I have the money, let's make a sale. Anyway, didn't work. He's like, you know what? There's five people ahead of you. Um, we can take your name down if you want. I'm like, no, it's pointless. And I told Zane, I get off the phone, put the phone down. I'm like, I've never worked this hard for a bag before. This is absolutely insane. It's just not meant to be. That's $550 that I can put towards another Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, who, who knows what, but I was ready to call up the search. Not more than five minutes goes by and the store manager at the Columbus Circle store calls and says, hey, we got one of the bags in. You were next on the list. You know, so-and-so gave me your name and number. Are you interested? I'm like, yes, send me the pay link. Like, send it now. Let's do this done deal. I, I, I'm 100% in. So then he sends me the pay link. I, I pay and then all is good. Literally today is Wednesday of the week. I bought it Friday, so right before the weekend. I was not expecting this to even come before, you know, this upcoming Friday, let alone to have it on Wednesday in time to shoot for you guys, to have Zane edit, to have it up on Sunday. Was not counting on that, was totally like not 
not even getting excited for it because I knew it wouldn't happen. And today I'm sitting in my office, the FedEx guy walks up and he goes, do you just want this in the locker or do you just want to take this? I'm like, I'll, I'll take that. Absolutely, thank you so much. And it is here. So I've bored you guys enough. You know me, I love to tease you guys and drag these out. That's probably super annoying, but it's my channel, I'll do what I want. Thank you. Let's dive in. What did I get? I mean, you can obviously tell by the handles and I've already spoiled over on Instagram, which is another reason to go over there and find me and follow me, caleb.snell.designer. I got the Eagle NYC Cash and Carry 32 tote. How phenomenal is this bag. A little bit about me, a little bit about my background. I love queer history. I love homoerotic art. Anything that has to do with like this kind of stuff, like Tom of Finland, Harry Bush, different illustrators, I live for this stuff. It's amazing. As soon as I saw this hit the runway, I was like, I have to have this bag. I saw in the article, I think it was on The Advocate, they interviewed someone at Coach and they said, listen, we're not really intending on releasing this bag. It probably won't happen, so don't get too excited. And then I saw someone else here on YouTube, I, I can't remember their name, but they managed to get one of the sample bags from the runway. I'm like, okay, this has to be showing up on eBay. So I set up my eBay alerts for the bag. I constantly trolled the Coach website. Now, as soon as I stopped trolling, literally that same week is when they went online at like midnight. <laughs> Hashtag quitter, I don't know, call me what you want. Follow through is not always my greatest strong suit and in this instance it really burned me. <laughs> anyway, I'm lucky I was able to track it down. You're like, what is the eagle? Who is this hunk? Let me tell you about it. So back in the 30s, I think it was called the Eagle's Nest Open Kitchen. It started as just like a restaurant, biker bar kind of situation in New York. And then after the Stonewall riots in 69, I think in 70, they switched over to a leather slash fetish bar. They painted the walls black. They did like a Tom of Finland mural on the walls. It became a local hangout. It was open every night, even on holidays. You could be there at Christmas time and doing your thing, I guess, in the back room. And it's phenomenal. So this artwork, I think I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure because there's not a lot of history on this kind of stuff um, readily available. I think this is from like, um, like a magazine or a newspaper article, you know, some type of circular. I think this is the artwork from that. And of course, Coach has just kind of changed it to the Eagle NYC rather than the Eagle's Nest, um, which it's called the Eagle NYC now. So fast forward a few years, you have the 80s, the 90s, and then in 2000, the lease was up for the bar. And of course, it's New York. So real estate was skyrocketing and the owner was just like, you know what, this is a sign. This is my time to quit and retire. Closed it down. But then I think like a year later, Eagle NYC opened. So when it comes to the Eagle, there are literally Eagle bars pretty much in any major city throughout the world. You have the Eagle in Tokyo. Chicago here used to have one. There's San Francisco, of course. They're not owned by a corporation or the same entity. They just kind of go off the same name just to kind of denote, hey, this is going to be kind of a leather themed bar. Wear your harness to get in kind of thing. And so as soon as Coach did this, I was all over it. So so with, with Coach, I mean, with any, you know, major corporation to do something this like literal homoerotic is just mind blowing. Typically when it comes to anything gay pride, it's very safe. Like, hi gay, happy pride month. If you do mouth stuff, you get four. <laughs> and it's just bathed in rainbows and it's no thought behind it. I mean, quite honestly, as, as a gay person, I, I don't buy a whole lot of the rainbow stuff because it just doesn't speak to me. It's a little cookie cutter, hashtag safe gay, if you know what I mean. If more pride stuff were kind of geared like this, <laughs> geared, I'd be more into it, quite honestly. So this bag, it's just the cash and carry, 32 centimeter, and it's got feet, which you know we love on this channel. So the styling behind it, it's uh, Bonnie Cashin's design. I, I wanna say, I think it was in the 60s. She was inspired by the women carrying their shoes to and from the office and their shopping bags. And she's like, hey, I can make a nicer, nicer version of that. And she did. Bonnie Cashin was amazing. So a lot of the coach hallmarks that we have today, like the turn lock, that is literally from her convertible. She was inspired by anything and everything. And I think as a designer and an innovator, she doesn't quite get the credit she deserves because Bonnie Cashin did a lot for handbag design and just the American luxury good market. It, it's pretty amazing. And the fact that they've re-released the bag and not only the 32, but my mini, which these look super cute together, is amazing. I absolutely love it. So the bag has, of course, the Eagle NYC there on the front. The sides and back are just plain black leather, which is appropriate. Most uh, leather gear stuff is black. And then of course, original glove tan leather stamped on the bottom. Let me get all the stuffing out and I'll show you guys what's on the inside. All right, you guys, so one of my favorite things about this bag is it comes with a nice big strap. Will I ever use it with the strap? Unlikely, but it's cute. Anyway, we, we love when we get extras with purchases. Now, are you ready? Can you handle it? I don't know if you can handle it, you guys, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> 
The end all be all. The Eagle NYC Cash and Carry 32 Toe. I can't believe I have it. This is absolutely freaking crazy. <laughs> like I said, the artwork on the front, I think was just taken from a print advertisement, which is pretty cool. Um, I love illustration ads, whatnot. So it's cool to have that. Of course, you'll have the coach lozenge hang tag here on the front and the interior is actually really nice. I was really surprised. So it's going to be lined in this kind of fabric. And then the back pocket, of course, has a zip and it goes down pretty far. So you can easily get like your phone in there, other little odds and ends that you need to carry throughout the day. And then on the front, you have another pocket that's just a button closure here at the front. Overall, it's very simple. It's very structured. It's a gorgeous bag, quite honestly. And I absolutely love, of course, the feet on the bottom, original glove tan leather. And then the Coach Creed, they, they must have changed the Creed since I've last been buying them. Um, it just talks about how it's a re-edition of an archival design from 1966, which is kind of cool. And then if you wanted to attach the strap, you would just clip it on here with the dog leash clips. Another Bonnie Cashin design note. <sighs> it took a lot of work but I'm happy it's here. And another crazy thing too, once these started hitting eBay, they were going at a minimum of $800 and I think one even sold for $19.95. That's with a comma, not $19.95, $1,995, which is absolutely insane. But if you have to have it, you have to have it. That's all there is to it. All right, so with all of that rambling ends the Coach Cash and Carry 32 centimeter Eagle NYC Toe Melodrama. <sighs> I forgot to mention, if you guys were watching a previous video where I talked about a metallic Balenciaga, literally at one point when I had my credit card out to pay for this, that popped up for like a brief five minutes and then it popped right back off the website again. And at one point I thought I lost out on both. I was so mad. We know me, I love a good unboxing. I have a large collection, so I'm no stranger to buying multiple bags in a week. Probably shouldn't. So I was prepared to do it, but I was trying to be good. And at one point I thought I missed out on both, but I didn't. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am absolutely head over heels for this bag. Um, maybe I'll carry it to work. Maybe not. I don't know. So excited to have this in my collection. Oh, and make sure to comment down below. I'm so interested to hear from you guys which of the cash and carry bags from this runway collection were your favorites. Are you more into the belted bags? Are you into this one? Are you into the plain leather ones, the Zay bars, the pearl paint? Let me know because we're going to have a dialogue down in the comments. I'm looking forward to it. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Stay safe. Have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.